Hi guys, good morning. Um, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, I'm gonna make this intro short because I actually have to get on the road. Anyway, so today we're actually gonna be detailing a truck. I tried to video the last detail I did, but I just ended up forgetting to film, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. But I really did wish that I filmed last time because I did a, like a kid's minivan last time and it was probably the grossest car I've ever cleaned, so I really kind of missed out on that one. I'll guide you guys through the process of like how I detail and all the stuff I use and it'll be an interior and exterior detail so you guys will, really will get to see everything that I do. As you can see it is 7.04 in the morning. It is. The sun's not even up. I mean look at this. Yes I'm taking my car to work. Um, but anyway this is what she looks like. You guys missed the cold start but my car is absolutely packed. That's why I'm so high in the rear because I don't want to rub when I detail. But like <laughs> my car is packed. Let's see the trunk. This is the truck. <laughs> so I got my steamer here, my vacuum, my bucket with all my extension cords, and then I got just random stuff. I really need to organize this again. You know, I feel like I like organize it once a year. Client is almost an hour away, and I need to be there by eight. So we're actually gonna be good for now, and I will film when I arrive in an hour. Almost an hour, not really an hour. And yes, for those wondering, I do charge a travel fee for clients that are 30 minutes or more away from me. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited to show you guys how I detail. I really love it, and I've always, I always get people telling me, like, older clients, they're always like, you should, like, film your detailing, and I'm finally doing that now that I have, like, a decent YouTube channel. I've already done the door, as you can see. It's already really clean, um, but the rest of the car, not so much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, like, film my process as I clean, basically. Um, so yeah. So right now I'm using uh, my, what is this, Car Guys uh, Super Cleaner. This is like the best cleaner I think I've ever found in my life. It's It does such an, a good job. It cleans carpets, it cleans upholstery, it cleans anything you want. So it is really the best overall all around cleaner you could ask for. And then I also use this a lot. I forgot what kind of like brush this actually came from. It came from like a set. I used these, it was like a pack of five. And these two together, I mean, you can't ask for more. I mean, it's just amazing. So here I'm just gonna clean the steering wheel. I've already done the dash and the door, obviously. Also for vents, I use this fancy little green thing. It obviously has little like vent holes in it, and then on the other side is a little brush to like clean up stuff that you miss. So this is what I use for vents. Hey guys, so basically I'm just gonna voice over from here on out. Um, I'm just gonna explain to you guys my process in detailing and like what I start with and what I end with. I forgot to mention I am a mobile detailer, so I come to people's houses and do their cars so they don't have to hassle with coming to my house, etc, etc. The first thing I do when I arrive at a client's house is obviously I take before pictures. Here you can see this is how I usually start every single detail as I always start with the driver's side um, door and then I move on to the steering wheel, the dash, the center console, the center area, all of that. Not seats, not anything that's not part of like, like for example in this video I'm not cleaning anything other than the material of the steering wheel or something like that. I do that for both sides and then I move to the passenger seat and I just do everything I did on the driver's side basically and then after I've wiped and cleaned everything down the next thing I do is I vacuum. I vacuum the seats, the floors, everything that would need to be vacuumed like cup holders that I cleaned already that have extra dirt left in them like I vacuum all of that out and then after I vacuum I go ahead and steam if needed most of the time I actually really don't need to steam it's just an optional thing it's I only steam when I have like really sticky and hard stains to get out such as like dried candy chocolate stuff in seats that won't come out like with just cleaner and if the steamer doesn't get stains out I actually have to move on to my carpet extractor in terms of upholstery thankfully I did not have to use that thing today because that thing is a pain that's normally what I use if my steamer doesn't work that's like the last resort basically I usually clean seats pretty last I mean I'll vacuum and then I'll clean seats which some people might think is kind of weird but I actually like doing it that way for some reason so after I clean seats I do windows very very last because I know when you're cleaning you know stuff gets on the windows you can't help it so I always do those last um, and then after windows I do door jams which I unfortunately did not film today but I will do door jams and then I will move on to the exterior oh and then I do floor mats if they're needed which 
I've really never had a detail that they don't need them, so. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll put some music on, um, but that's basically the process of how I clean. I'll get more into how I clean the outside of the vehicle when that time in this video comes up. But yeah, so just enjoy until then, and thank you for watching. Guys, so we are back. I've just completed the interior of this car. The only thing I have to do still is I need, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little stain. I just need to get that out of the carpet, um, but it is fully vacuumed out. But I mean, this car looks fantastic. I need to vacuum that though, because I had all my stuff in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the exterior. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are onto the outside of the car here. Um, I've got my pressure washer hooked up and I've got some other stuff over here. I actually need to fill up my bucket, so hold on. Okay, so I have now filled up my bucket, and now I'm going to start, so I'm just going to show you guys how to be outside stuff, and yeah. Hello everyone, we are back with the voiceover here. So as you can see, I have finished the inside and moved on to the outside. Here you can just see me rinsing off the vehicle before I put soap on it. Most people I know pretty much just go straight into soaping but I rinse off just to get all of that extra grime like kind of getting loose and so it comes off easier when I soap it later. Normally I actually do wheels first, uh, but today for some reason I just started doing that one side rinsing. I don't know why I did that. Um, there's a part in the video that I filmed where you can just see me like kind of stop and realize what I'm doing. Um, I cannot tell you how many times that has happened while I've been detailing. But basically what I did is I did not soap that side and I just went ahead and did the wheels, all four of them, after realizing. And then after that I went back to rinsing that one side and soaping it, which you'll see here in a little bit. So basically for the wheels, all I have to do really is I spray this like wheel cleaner. It's by McGuire's. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in a purple, I mean a pink bottle is for wheels and tires. So it'll break down like dirt and stuff on your tires, as you can see in the video later. And it also does a great job of breaking down brake dust on wheels as well. And you'll see it turn uh, like brown at some point in the video and that's it like actively working. And then after that, I use a little like barrel brush to get in the barrels and get all the dirt out from there and the brake dust. And then I use a wheel brush to clean the outside of the face of the wheel. And then finally, I'll use a little brush that I use to scrub the outside of the tires so that I can get all the dirt off. After I've done all of that, I just simply rinse and I move on to the next wheel. After I do wheels, I rinse the car usually and then I soap. My first year of detailing, I actually didn't detail with a foam cannon. I just used like regular soap. I had my pressure washer, but I just used like the pressure washer soap. I don't know if any of you watching the video have a pressure washer at home and it has just like the soap nozzle. That's what I used to use, not an actual like foam cannon. But the day I got my foam cannon absolutely like changed my life. Like I absolutely love my foam cannon. Highly recommend getting one if you're thinking about it. So I film the car and then I scrub it with my little wash mitt that you'll see me pull out in a little bit. And after I scrub with my wash mitt, I simply rinse and do the other side. I always do one side at a time just for water spot purposes. You can kind of see me like rushing around to do this because I'm working straight in the sun on a black car. And if any of you know, black cars show all of the water spots and all of the dirt. And when I'm battling the sun, the water tends to 
um, dry to the paint much quicker than it would in the shade. So I'm kind of just like running around like trying to scrub and rinse as quick as possible so I can do the other side here. And then after I rinse, of course, I dry. Some clients opt in to get a wax or even a ceramic coat. Ceramic coatings I normally do in their own appointment though because they take so long. I am normally not able to do a full ceramic and an interior coating in one day just because ceramics alone take me around four or five hours depending on how big and how bad the car is because I have to prep for them. Hey guys, um, so I just finished. That took a whopping 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It took a whopping five hours to do in interior and exterior clean. I'm like sweating. That's why I'm so shiny. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that was the clean. Just a simple little interior, exterior. I think the main issue with that car was they actually just moved from Florida, so there's a lot of sand and stuff like in the carpets and just kind of everywhere. So that was the biggest problem. And then she had a, uh, like a kid. She's gonna be a new maintenance client, which is good news for me. Maintenance clients, you know, like she wants to do like every other month. If you guys like this content, like I detail for a living. So if you guys want more detailing content, let me know and I can certainly do more. As for today, I'm going shopping after this i'm about to go shopping and go get something to eat because i am starving thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed this content please let me know below and please subs <sighs> and subscribe please thank you bye